video, we will solve two problems from R.C. Beller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the problem 4-15, the Achilles tendon force, we have given 615 newtons and we have given another force which is the normal reaction force from the floor as 400 newton. And we have to determine the resultant movement of these two forces about point A. So we have to sum up the moments about point A of these two forces. I am taking clockwise moment as positive. So to solve this problem, first of all I have to resolve this inclined force, this Achilles tendon force into its components. So it has one vertical component and one horizontal component. The force, normal reaction force has only one component which is the vertical component. Now to sum up the moment, if I sum up the moment, first of all let's label them. This is Ft cos 5 degrees and this component is F T sine 5 degrees. So if I sum up the moment, then the force F T cos 5 degrees has a moment arm about point A of 65 mm. So I can write it as 0 0.065 in terms of meter and it is trying to rotate about point A clockwise so I'm taking it as positive then the horizontal component if I draw the projection of this horizontal component right here then it is passing through the point A so it has no movement arm about point A so the moment produced by this horizontal component is zero. So I'm not considering this component as a moment producing component. Then we have one more force, which is the reaction force. And uh, it has a moment arm of 100 mm from point A. And it is trying to rotate about point A counterclockwise. So I am taking it as negative. So it is negative 400 into 0 0.1 is equals to 0. Then Ft is given which is 650 newtons. So the combined moment or the resultant moment about point A of all these forces is equal to 650 cos 5 degrees into 0 0.065 minus 400 into 0 0.1 it is equal to 2.089 newton meter this is the answer to the problem 4-15 for the second problem the second problem is also similar to the first one so if I erase all this, then in the second problem, we have again two forces, axis tendon force Ft and we have the normal reaction force 400. But in this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of Ft. And we have given that the resultant of the moment about point A is required to be zero. So our, so our condition is moment about point A is equals to zero. I am again taking as clockwise moment as positive. Then by the same considerations that this vertical force Ft cos 5 degrees has a moment arm of 0 0.065 minus 
minus 400 the anti force reactional force into its moment arm which is 0 0.1 is equal to 0 then Ft is equal to 400 into 0 0.1 divided by cos 5 degrees into 0 0.065 from here Ft is equal to 1617 617.735 Newton this is the answer to the problem 4-16 I hope you will find these video solutions helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates